One particular query that has come from a viewer has been about the approval for TMS or transcranial therapy. He talks about it in the context of this being approved in Spain and has asked why we don't have it in the UK. Hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at my videos and actually give me the feedback and also ask for questions and talk about other techniques as well. Today with relation to fibromyalgia, one particular query that has come from a viewer has been about the approval for TMS or transcranial therapy. He talks about it in the context of this being approved in Spain and has asked why we don't have it in the UK. Actually, to be clear, TMS is indeed available in the UK, is being offered by a lot of practitioners and indeed in the private sector there are providers of transcranial therapy or transcranial magnetic stimulation to be exact for fibromyalgia itself. Now some of you may be wondering what exactly is this? So transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS for short, is a technique that has been introduced and been around for about maybe a decade, probably 20 years now, close there. Now we've got a properly available equipment and set which looks very nice. There's a proper machine that is capable of giving precisely calibrated pulses. And essentially what this lies and what this is based on is the fact that TMS is capable of modulating or changing slash modifying the nerve activity within the circuits of the brain. So to look at it, it would look like a very uh, big headset that you wrap around your head and it's something that you sort of hold and it stays in place around your forehead from where you apply it. It is uh, capable of delivering pulses uh, probably one per second and you can vary the frequency probably and this is then delivered across the skin through the skull into the brain circuits. The reason this is being popular for headache, for different kinds of migraine treatments and also for fibromyalgia and some other chronic pains is that we do know that in many forms of chronic pain and certainly in some forms of migraine it is due to the overactivity or hyperactivity of certain parts of the brain and certain circuits within the brain. And so if that is the reason, then giving an external electrical or a magnetic pulse changes the electrical circuits within the brain and hopes to modify it for the better. And that's the rationale behind using transcranial magnetic stimulation. As I said, there are a few studies that have been done specifically looking at fibromyalgia and TMS therapy is now being offered in the private sector. The guidelines that have come as far as the UK is concerned, they do suggest it for some forms of migraine. It is often provided by neurologists and there are some treatment centers in the UK that do offer it for a variety of other chronic pain conditions as well. What's challenging to know right now is that we don't have a good quality or a high quality evidence-based study that actually says how many sessions would be required, how long should each session be, and for which condition would it have maximum effectiveness, which is why it's not yet available on the NHS as a regular training. But this is something you could discuss with the specialist when you see them privately and see whether this would be a treatment that's suitable. Side effects are often very minimal and it is quite a safe treatment when you compare it to other medications which can often have side effects. So something to explore TMS but right now we need more good quality evidence before we can offer it on the NHS and certainly that's the UK perspective. I hope this was useful as a quick introduction or a short introduction to TMS. Uh, thank you for listening to the video and I hope to see you again with other videos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it of value. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button to be notified when the next video comes along.